Hey folks, uh, Kevin here. Here's the latest XO feature. Um, I've added a page that converts a GitHub repo from one language to another. So it's pretty common that um, a lot of the language model projects are written in Python. And I find myself uh, trying to convert some of those um, uh, repositories into TypeScript or JavaScript uh, often. And so I wrote this to kind of help me do that. Um, uh, I have kind of this background script that does it, but this is like a front end um, uh, interface that allow folks to basically just post their repository here, select the language that they want, and then it will submit and, and, um, and copy and convert uh, from one language to, to another. I'm gonna kind of walk through how this works. Um, and, uh, but first I wanna show um, basically what's happening here. So here's an example of a very, very simple express server. It's essentially just one file. Um, so here is the uh, file that basically spins up an express server. So I use the app to convert this to uh, C and also it's a JavaScript. So I uh, see if you see here, it's JavaScript. I converted it to C and it wrote this very simple C file, which um, I, I suspect is not uh, ideal, but anyway, uh, got the bulk of it there. And then also um, wrote it to TypeScript, which again, is pretty trivial, but just the one file, uh, but just an example of kind of how it works and, and kind of proving that it works. Um, all right, so how does, uh, how does this work in the background? So basically what happens is it will clone the repository to a Docker container. It'll spin up a Docker container, clone the repository. It'll find the most common file type. So GitHub will give you the size of the repository, what's the most common file type, that sort of thing. Um, it loops over the files. Currently, it only loops over the most common files. When you are built, writing code, you're obviously writing, sometimes writing code with different file types. And so uh, if you have like a SQL file or other types of files, markdown files, it's not gonna actually convert those. Uh, and so that'll be kind of what's something that's gonna happen next. But uh, finds the most file, count, uh, file type and then loops over all those and then converts them to the file type that you want. So for example, if the most common file type is Python then, and you want to convert to TypeScript, then it will find all the Python files and convert them to TypeScript. So it uses a language model to do that. So it loops over and says, uh, basically convert this file to, uh, to this other file type. And it's pretty, the language models are pretty good at that. Um, then it'll write um, all the files that it, that it converted uh, to the Docker container, and then basically will create a new repository um, here in the XO repositories. And so uh, maybe in a future iteration, it'll actually write it directly to you know the, the, the person's uh, um, GitHub account. But right now it's just using my uh, keys to, to do this to make it easy and then folks can clone these uh if they like or or fork them just to, to make it easy for folks to get that get that uh, get those files um a lot of limitations here um i think you know one of the things obviously is it doesn't convert all the files right so it only converts the most common files um later iterations will use a language model to look through the other config files the other markdown files the other dependency related files like package or requirements.txt files for python loop through those and actually pull those in basically you know starting at like a package uh, json file finding all the dependencies and then copying them over to the other language, right? Like, so like you could say, hey, here's a language in JavaScript, what's the equivalent in, in Python? Um, and the language model is actually pretty good at that. I've experimented with that and it's pretty good. Um, it doesn't actually run the code, which I think is probably the most important thing, right? Like it converts the repo and, you know, if you were doing this manually, you would basically pull it down and run it continuously to make sure everything's looking okay um, as you're adding stuff, adding files and converting it. And so it doesn't do that, but it can. And so I've experimented with in the Docker container, listening to the output, if there's an error, then feed the error back into the language model and then it can go and adapt and adjust the files accordingly. And so that is something that the language model can do and I think will be the next step for, for how this works. So um, so I just wanted to kind of give a, a quick overview of, of what's going on here. I'm gonna uh, push this to production shortly, um, but it's a kind of cool feature to, uh, for XO. And I think, um, like I said, it's something that I used, um, a script that I used to help me with my development, I think it'd be helpful for others. Um, the one thing I'll show you is um, it only right now, it supports uh, smaller uh, repositories. So here's baby AGI. Um, and if I wanted to convert it to TypeScript, so baby AGI is only 1500 kilobytes about, it takes about 16 minutes. I have this like very back, this back of the neck and kind of calculation on how long it'll take to convert it. Um, but for example, this is uh, agent GPT, which is like kind of a bigger uh, repository and that will take, uh, that's, let's see, how big is it? Up 20,000. So that's a little bit too big. So it won't let uh, you do that uh, currently. So um, the goal is to expand, obviously, as these APIs get cheaper to allow this allow folks to do this. Um, and, you know, as things get converted, I'll have a script in here that actually looks for it in the converted state, right? Like, so if someone wants agent uh, GPT is actually in TypeScript, if someone wants that in Python, you know, you need to do that once because and then you have it and then folks can clone it. Um, so that's the idea. Uh, I hope folks find this useful and I'll, uh, I'll make a little post about how this works and try to blast it out for folks to use it. Thanks.